Hello and welcome to this week's newscast from Power Engineering International. I'm Kelvin Ross. In this week's headlines, EDF has extended the life of four of its UK nuclear power plants. RWE will not pay a dividend after suffering a 200 million euro annual loss. Saudi Arabia's Aqua Power plans an $8 billion investment drive for coal and solar projects. And Statoil has launched a $200 million renewables investment fund. EDF Energy has extended the life of four of its nuclear power plants in the UK. The French company revealed this week that Haitian One and Hartlepool would run for a further five years to 2024, while the closure dates for Haitian Two and Tourness have been extended by seven years to 2030. The move will calm recent concerns raised over Britain's spare capacity for the next decade. It also comes at a time when EDF is stalling over a final investment decision on its proposed Hinkley Point C reactor because of shareholder pressure over the cost of the $26 billion project. Haitian One and Hartlepool started generating electricity in 1983, while Haitian Two and Tourness became operational in 1988. Together, the four plants supply electricity to around a quarter of UK homes and employ about 2,000 permanent staff. The news of the extensions came as EDF revealed its 2015 financial results. Overall, EDF saw net profit plunge 68% on asset impairments and cut its dividend to 1.10 euros per share after paying 1.25 euros for the last three years. German utility RWE said this week that it will forego paying a dividend on its 2015 stock after declaring its first annual loss since 2013. The 200 million euro loss was attributed to a 2.1 billion impairment on power plants in Germany and the UK as well as an additional 900 million write-down in deferred taxes. In a statement, RWE referred to what it called the recent dramatic deterioration of the earnings prospects in the conventional power sector, while outgoing Chief Executive Peter Terriam said the company would harness all of its forces in order to master the crisis in conventional power, while seizing what he called the business opportunities that it was offered by the structural change in the energy sector. The company's shares dropped by 8% on Wednesday this week in response to the news. In December, RWE said it would spin off its renewables, power grid and retail business into a new company in a response to the transformation of the European energy landscape. Saudi Arabia's Aqua Power plans to raise $8 billion in the next six months to finance projects to boost its generating capacity by a third by the end of this year. Among the projects earmarked for new funding, is a 1.2 gigawatt coal plant in Dubai, which Accra is building in conjunction with China's Harbin Electric, and solar plants in Amman and South Africa. Some of the money will also be used to help refinance debt against the Rabi 1 combined cycle plant in Saudi, which is part owned by Aqua. The new projects are expected to raise Aqua's power assets from the existing 21 gigawatts to 28 gigawatts by the end of 2016. Norwegian oil and gas giant Statoil has launched a new investment fund which will focus on renewables. The $200 million Statoil Energy Ventures Fund aims to invest in offshore and onshore wind, solar, energy storage, energy efficiency and smart grid sectors over a four to seven year period. The fund will be part of Statoil's newly created New Energy Solutions business unit which the company said reflects its aspirations to gradually complement its oil and gas portfolio with renewable energy and low carbon solutions. Statel said it expects the fund to function primarily as a minority shareholder in growth companies, preferably as a co-investor with other venture firms. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.